How do you stop being anxious? It's a tough question because even though most of us have been told, don't worry about it, we all know that our anxiety doesn't usually feel like it's under our control. Anxiety just sort of takes over and we sometimes feel paralyzed by it. Being told, just don't worry about it, feels like a drowning person being told, just be a better swimmer. For most of us, we try to deal with our anxiety by taking control. We do this in different ways. For some of us, we take control by trying to avoid the things that make us feel anxious. If we're afraid of heights, we avoid heights. If we're afraid of snakes, we avoid camping. If we're afraid of public speaking, we choose careers that don't require that of us. Sometimes that works, but when we do this, we bring limits into our lives that keep us from doing things that might be helpful or life-giving. Other times, we try to take control by making those around us adjust their behavior so that we don't have to deal with the things that make us feel anxious. Certainly, this, ha this has happened with some people during the pandemic. When anxiety over getting sick is high, many try to make sure that those around them are staying home, washing their hands, wearing their masks, and keeping their distance. But when we try to control others, we run into the problem that it often strains our relationships with them. We might get them to adjust their behavior, which will help us with our anxiety, but we also may lose closeness with them because of our demands on them. If we're going to deal with anxiety without cutting massive experiences and massive amounts of people out of our lives, then we need to be able to embrace the reality that we are not in control. And let's not sugarcoat it. The world is a dangerous place. Anxiety usually has a rational basis. There are plenty of reasons to be anxious in a world full of sickness and violence and deception. We live in a dangerous world and we are not in control. You may or may not know that the most frequent command in the Bible is, do not fear. Over and over again, Old Testament, New Testament, prophets, apostles, psalm writers, historians, wise teachers, and Jesus himself tell us not to be afraid. This wasn't because they were turning a blind eye to the fact that they were not in control of a scary world. It was because they claimed that they knew who was in control of this world. They claimed that God himself, the loving creator, the almighty, holds all things in his hands. He is perfectly sovereign and nothing is outside of his power. Philippians 4, 6 tells us, do not be anxious about anything. Why in the world not? Well, the whole verse says this, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. We aren't told, take control. We are told, take your concerns to the one who is in control. We're not told, don't worry about your needs. We're told, God will take care of your needs. But let's pause there. Is God really going to take care of all of our needs? Aren't there Christians who go hungry and suffer trials and get sick and get abandoned? Yes, there are. Then why would we see God as trustworthy? The answer is that God has shown his love for us in the ultimate way. He sent his one and only son, Jesus, to be sacrificed on our behalf. He has paid the price to bring us forgiveness for our sins and to adopt us into the family of God, promising us eternal life. And life, for Christians, is not the promise that nothing difficult will ever happen. But it is the promise that God will work all things together for our good. And we have confidence in this because he's already shown his love for us through the gift of his son. Being told not to worry only helps if we know that someone else, someone much more powerful than we are, is worrying on our behalf. I already mentioned that the most frequent command in the Bible is, do not fear. What frequently comes after that command not to fear is the words, I am with you. We may be like a small child who's afraid of a barking dog, but we have a parent who says to us, don't worry, I'm right here. 
And while, while this doesn't at all mean that our lives are gonna be smooth and seamless, it does mean that he is working all things together for our good. We are set free from anxiety, not by focusing on our worries, but by focusing on the one who is powerful enough to take care of each and every one of them. Thank you.